Welcome back to the Emerald Luck Lock, everybody, and episode number 16. Now, in the last episode, we did a lot of things. We actually did a lot of progress stuff, just getting through Meteor Falls and leveling up a lot of our Pokemon. So, our, we're, we're sitting pretty good, honestly. We got to do a little bit of leveling up for some of our Pokemon, but so many are so close to evolving, and I think... This episode is going to be the one. In particular, Ruth, guys, is sitting so close. So I think we're going to prioritize Ruth, get her leveled up first. Uh, despite the fact that she is also our highest level, I would like to make sure we get her where she needs to be. So let's go ahead. We do have to head to Mount Chimney in this episode, which is going to be a lot of walking, unfortunately. Uh, but we got this. We got this. Uh, we do have to fight all these random Pokemon. There were Suicune in this grass. Did we know that? We might have known that. That's annoying. Uh, just out of curiosity. Of course we miss. Why wouldn't we miss? Why wouldn't we miss? Guys, let me know which, what is your favorite legendary Pokemon of all time? Legendary Pokemon of all time. Uh, mine has to be Lugia, man. We fought a Lugia in the last episode and man, is that a scary experience, but Lugia is so good. So, so good. It's just a wall, just a wall. Uh, it gave a hundred and some mod experience, which honestly for the level that it's at is pretty good. We don't have, whoops, let's see, we, stop, 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 lag, lag. All right, here we go. Uh, we don't have any, we have an amulet coin? I really should have checked my items. Uh, we knew that actually, I'm sorry. All right, that's fine. We, I was looking for a repel of some kind. A REPL. All right, uh, we are getting there, guys. We are getting there. I'm excited because we are really getting through this game relatively quickly here, guys. I mean, you gotta think, we're episode 16 right now. We've done a lot. We've really done a lot. Um, I did not talk to that guy. I wonder if I was supposed to. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, all right, lick a tongue. What's up, little bro? Um, Guys, as always, I've got my trusty, my trusty little coffee mug over here. Mm -mm. But alas, as I did mention in the last episode, allergy season is upon us and it's kicking my butt, guys. I don't know about you guys, but it has been very challenging um, and really just annoying. Like if I sound nasally, it's solely because I I've taken medicine, guys, and it's not helping, and it's a little frustrating, but I had to record. I had to do it. I literally had to. Not not really. I could have just said, no, I'm going to do it tomorrow because really I'm ahead, but you don't know that. You have no idea. You have absolutely no idea. So we did not fight a lot of trainers here, did we? That's fine. We'll fight you real quick on our way to Mount Chidney. There's probably a couple others we'll have to fight as well. Well, that's perfect. Please level up, Ruth. I talked in the last episode, guys, about a brand new Nuzlocke idea that I want to try after this one called an 8-lock. Uh, yes. Ooh, yes. Please, please, please. Come on. I think it's level 32. Uh, yes, we'll change. Let's throw... Let's go Spitfire. Spitfire is so close to, we gotta get them all leveled up. Our team should be looking real good after all this. All right, we are definitely, if if Ruth evolves, we are definitely kind of backburning uh, Ruth a little bit to try and get some of the other Pokemon caught up because we are a little behind on the rest. All right, come on. Right, now's the time. Yes, yes, Ruth is evolving. To that beautiful, beautiful Venusaur. Oh, I love Venusaur. So thick, so luscious. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Gotta remember to change the layout. If I don't, let me know in the comment section below. All right, guys, we did it. We have Ruth the Venusaur looking so strong. Let's, let's take a quick peek at Ruth. Sitting at exactly 100 HP, I love that. We do have Overgrow. Forgot about that. Man, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, Spitfire, you're up next, bro. Let's get this going. Let's get this going. So happy about that. Oh, I thought we didn't fight that person. 
Did we fight you? Yeah, look at that. Fought all you, ha ha, you suck. All right, <laughs> let's climb in the cable car all the way up to Mount Chimney here, guys. And we are gonna have some scary, scary battles in this episode because, albeit I think level-wise, we're probably kind of like right where we need to be. I don't know that for sure, I'll be honest. I didn't look it up, uh, but I think we're right where we kind of need to be. We'll see. Let's do it, let's do it. They're all just fighting, chilling. All right, double battle time. Who do we have, Powerball and Spitfire? Perfect, those are the two we want, let's do it. Let's do it, guys. Fingers crossed we can make this one happen. I cannot wait. I really hope some of the other Pokemon we have can evolve to you. Also, believe it or not, I am not checking the walkthrough at the moment. Uh, one of the videos just went live and I was curious to see how it was doing. It's not well. <laughs> not well at all, unfortunately. All right. Let's fire punch you, let's spark you. Surprise Spitfire actually outspeeds the uh, Powerball. Despite the level difference, I just would have thought Powerball would have outsped. Seriously, wow. Should have doubled into the Gold Bat slot then. Uh, to be honest, that would have been probably the most effective thing. Just from the standpoint of like Supersonics, things like that, like we wouldn't have had to worry about it, but <laughs> this is still fine. I mean, we're, we're not in any danger. <laughs> All right, Shuckle should be taken out by that. Perfect. And Golbat should go down to Powerball here with that beautiful, beautiful spark. I'm so glad we actually finally have an electric type move. I know we got it a couple episodes back, but it was a grind before that, man. All right, two grunts are down. Got a few more to go, but we got this, guys. I am not stressed, not even stressed. I think this is the Tabitha fight, maybe? We changed trainer names, so it's hard to know for sure. Maybe it's not. Okay. I lied. Okay. Cool. You just have a straight chillin' Jirachi. <laughs> uh, thankfully, you should get hit at least really hard. One-shotting a Jirachi with a Magby. <laughs> and a level. Beautiful. That was amazing. That's ridiculously awesome. Uh, okay. Let's, let's go Sack Boy here. Again, guys, sorry if I am sniffing and rubbing my nose and whatnot. It's just all the allergies are terrible here this time of year. Um, and unfortunately I have very bad allergies, so. I should do a decent amount. Thunder Wave is annoying, not the end of the world. Yep. Yep, yep. That's fine. That was a crit. Oh, thank goodness. Please. Ah, come on, sack boy. Don't do this. Yes, there we go. All right, excellent. Excellent, excellent. Chin Chow is down. Weirdly, Chin Chow is harder to take down than, <laughs> than a Jirachi. That makes very little sense. All right, Spitfire, take out this Glalie. Can we get another level on Spitfire this episode? This might be the episode of evolutions all the way through, guys. One-shotting. Love it. I have like a little, little beard bump. I wonder what that is. Uh, all right. Let's go into Powerball for this one. Yes. Powerball is going to grab a level here, I believe. All right, spark you, let's do it. I think I have a little zit under my beard, which is a really annoying place for a zit. Whoa! Uh, okay, swerve. Uh, not a good switch in, not really a good switch in. It has water pulse, is it gonna have an ice type move? That's the only trick. We'll see. <laughs> we will see. Water Pulse is fine, that should do very little, as long as we don't get confused. Cool. Let's Razor Leaf. This should, I would think, take it out. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Powerball grabbing a level, level 26. We're really getting both Powerball and Spitfire up right now, which is awesome. Uh, let's check before we go into, yeah, let's, 
Let's see what we got here. Ice heal. Confusion. Alright, first and foremost, let's use a couple of super potions. Let's get Powerball leveled up. Or healed up, excuse me. Alright. Um, paralysis. Whoops, that's what we want. Just to make sure we're going in, like, relatively healthy. Alright guys, here it is. The big battle. This is the scary one. This one is a little little challenging. Uh, in, in a lot of locks, this is where I have lost. Um, so, fingers crossed we don't this time. It is the cradle of it all. That is why Team Magma is dedicated to the expansion of the landmass. It's for the further advancement of humankind and Pokemon. And for that, we need the power of what of what sleeps within this mountain. Wow. Oh, there was no need for you to learn that much. But no matter, I'll teach you the consequences of meddling in our grand design. Dude, you're going down. 100%. Not even close. All right, guys. Servant Jonathan. <laughs> okay. Cool. Do we think we can stay in? Uh, yeah. We'll try it. God, that does nothing. And we can't even burn it now. Um. Hmm. What do we do? What do we do? Uh. It's gonna have a psychic type move, so Ruth is like kind of out for this one. Dragon Breath is gonna do a lot. I don't know what we can do against this thing. All right, let's Songbird and try and sing. This is gonna be a tough battle, guys. Oh my gosh, why did he have to have a? Oh, why did I swap into? songbird that was really stupid you're a dragon type oh this is terrible <laughs> oh no um so now we know it's gonna go for a dragon breath we can swap into ruth so the reason i know that i think it should go for dragon breath is because it's super effective on uh songbird and so oh come on are you kidding me maybe it doesn't have a psychic type move Really? Oh, come on, Ruth. Don't do this. Oh, it's it's got it had safeguard up. That was so stupid. All right. We got it to sleep. Oh, uh, so that's helpful. <laughs> um Do we have any? We have a lumberry. This is a bit risky if it wakes up. Okay. All right. We have to heal up. Ah, uh, yeah. We literally have to heal up, don't we? Okay. Please don't. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to leech seed this. Nope. Nope. Going to leech seed this. Uh... Okay, so at the very least, there's an inevitable end to this fight. That's terrifying. But it doesn't have safeguard anymore, so we can just put it back to sleep. What a tricky play this has been. I can't believe I swapped into Songbird. That was so silly. It's a dragon type. Why did I... I'm, I'm dumb. I'm, I'm silly. Uh, but that's fine. All right. Again, we have an inevitable end to this fat fight, which is really helpful. Uh, let's just Razor Leaf and try and get as much damage off since Ruth is relatively safe in here. That's a little bit of damage. Man, this thing is so bulky. <laughs> so bulky. We're eight levels ahead and that's how much damage we did. That's very little. We should be, oh, come on. Oh no, this is the, the Blissey battle all over again. All right, at least it doesn't have soft boiled. Uh, all right. Ruth though is back up to full health now, which is awesome. And again, safeguard is not on the table at the moment. So it just means that even if they do, if it wakes up, as long as we don't get paralyzed, it should be fine. <laughs> that Lumberry, I hate having to use a Lumberry, but we really needed to get 
shed that paralysis, otherwise we would have been in terrible trouble. Goodness, yes. Stay asleep, please. That should be great. We should have it. Yes, Lottie is down. 100%. Alright, Pokemon number one <laughs> is down. What a battle this has been already. That's crazy. Everybody gaining the XP. A whooper! Like, we went from Latios, or Latios, to Wooper. <laughs> One thing I will say, guys, just as a uh, heads up, uh, in the randomizer, there is an option to force fully evolve Pokemon at a particular level. Uh, we definitely took that option. So, there. Let's just go to Sackboy, right? He can't touch us. Uh, we should have gone to Spitfire and gained the XP. <laughs> Uh, what that means for us is at level 30, everything is going to start to be fully evolved. Uh, which is a little scary. Makey shouldn't be able to touch Sackboy at all, so this should be easy. That was so scary. That was so scary. I don't ever want to fight another one of those. <laughs> oh no. Alright. We're good. We're good. Please don't use another super potion just to prolong. Come on. This is where Sackboy needs like a shadow ball or just some kind of like high damage output move, but we just don't have it yet. <laughs> awesome. All right, we did it. We did it, we did it. Whew, all right. That was really scary. Really, really scary. All right, cool. So we do need to grab the meteorite, if I'm not mistaken, from the little machine. Lucky me, thank you. With your help, we we thwarted Team Magma's destructive plan. All right, very cool. A meteorite is fitted on a mysterious machine. Do you want to remove it? I sure do. Thanks. All right, guys, we did it. Now, if I'm not mistaken, what's up here? Is there anything? No. <laughs> All right. So we can start to head down this way. Uh, and this is actually a new route. So let's swap out Ruth so we can actually try and catch this thing, whatever it ends up being. Uh, just kidding. Let's swap in Spitfire. <laughs> to gain a level before we try and catch a Pokemon. Awesome. <laughs> so this is the Jagged Pass. This is gonna lead, I believe, down towards Lava Ridge Town, and then our next episode might just be a gym battle. Uh, we'll see. Flygon, wow, that's scary. Do we think Fire Punch is enough to... <laughs> We're gonna try it. I think it's resisted. Uh, is it resisted? Yeah. Sand Attack. Right. I really like Flygon. I talked about this in another episode. I like Flygon better than Salamence. Might be an unpopular opinion, but I really like him. Please stop dropping accuracy. Good lord. This is gonna be just annoying. We really need a water type on our team, don't we? Do we have a water type? No. I don't know why I thought we might. Alright, Ruth, come on. Just... Just do it, you know? Faint attack, okay. Faint attack has a really cool like background animation. Just that purple background is really cool. I mean, it's not a very good attack, but it just looks really cool. All right, Spitfire getting for 21. Giraffe rig. Uh, yeah, Spitfire, let's do it. Come on, Spitfire. If we can get another evolution this episode, I will feel just so good. Not only that, we also beat uh, Maxi, man, this is this has been great. Good episode so far. Very, very good episode. Fingers crossed it doesn't change. Uh, <laughs> that's fine. Heck yes. Burn. Take it out. Yes, perfect. Spitfire, you amazing little thing, you. Oh, come on. So close. We'll force an evolution if we if we get to that point. All right, Ruth. I'm gonna need you to come out here, help us catch a little Pokemon. So we can have another encounter. All right, guys, fingers crossed. Let's see what it is. Uh, is. I'm not terribly upset by that. 
I uh, actually really like Nidoran. Um, we don't have Nido Queen in this one, do we? No. Uh, let's tackle. It's got Poison Point, but we should be fine. Tackle one more time. Okay. Sleep Powder. And then this should be a reasonably easy catch. He says, stupidly. <laughs> Why do I say things? Why do I say things? All right, let's great ball it. Let's see. Fingers crossed, guys. This wouldn't be a terrible encounter later on uh, because we could evolve it into a Nido Queen, and Nido Queen's great. Fantastic. We did it. Uh, we're going to name this. I name all of my Nido Queens Elizabeth uh, because Queen Elizabeth is a joke in my head. Uh, and so here we go. Not that Queen Elizabeth was a literal joke. I just mean that's that's my reference. <laughs> I don't know why I felt the need to explain that. I guess I didn't want to offend anybody in 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 Queensland. <laughs> All right, uh, let's be safe. Let's not risk anything. <laughs> Excellent. All right. All right, dude. Let's do this. Come on. Hey. <laughs> All right. Uh, this should be enough. If we can beat this guy, we should have enough XP to Primeape. I think hits hard, but Spitfire should be able to take it out. It's level 22. Things are getting a little, little scary on the level end of things. So that's a little terrifying, but... Ooh. Okay. Perfect. And Ember you and take you out. <laughs> Spitfire, grow into level 30, guys. It's time. A smoochum. Oh, uh, I'm just gonna stay in. <laughs> it's a smoochum. I'm not really overly concerned. Um, look at that little fella. Oh, we had a smoochum, didn't we? Man, that feels like such a long time ago. It's been a long time since we started this series, only because we're only doing three episodes a week, I guess, but I think that's smart. We gotta pace it, uh, cause I can't overdo it and Guys, two evolutions in a single episode, and they're both really good evolutions too. We got a Venusaur, and now we have a Magmar. Oh, just what an episode. Beat Maxi. Again, I have to remember to change layouts. <laughs> I'll make a note. Uh, man, that felt, that feels really, really good. We really are gonna get a lot further in this game now. Uh, with so many good evolutions. All right, uh, let's swap Powerball in. Let's heal him up, uh, and we should be good to go, guys. We're we're really killing it. Uh, our Pokemon. I don't know what. I will look up the levels of the gym, only because I don't want to be too underleveled for a gym battle. You just you never know, uh, and so I will look that up. But other than that, I'm gonna try not to look too much up. Is this part ground type yet? I don't remember if it's part ground type. I don't think it is. I'm gonna risk it. I lied. I was dumb. It definitely is. Uh, that might be bad. That might be really bad. Powerball, please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. <laughs> hey, Ruth. Take out this Barbaroach. Why did I stay in? I'm not the best Nuzlocker in the world. Not like Pokemon challenges. The self-proclaimed best Nuzlocker in the world. He is really good. If anybody watches Pokemon challenges, let them know we're, we're gonna do a, or we're doing a luck lock. Tell them what it is and then be like, hey man, you should go, you should go check out, check out this, this, this new YouTuber. Uh, I'm not a technically a new YouTuber, but I'm new to the Pokemon world. <laughs> do we think we can one shot? <laughs> yeah, we can. I don't even, no worries at all. Easy. Never didn't have it. Oh, yes, Powerball. You just are lining up beautifully with all of these really great Pokemon. That guy had like a kind of interesting team. If it would have been a fully evolved team, a Wishcash, a Pidgeot, and a Poliwrath? Sorry, this fine lady. I don't know. Uh, Fan Marshall. 
I'm not gonna battle everybody here though. Uh, I will battle you. Let's just, just be safe. Nope, that's, that's not what I meant. Uh, we've got a lot of items to sell. I'll probably do some of that in between episodes, just just so I'm not like wasting your guys' time on video. Uh, but I do want to get some stuff sold, maybe see where we're at. We might be unlocking Ultra Balls. That's later, I think. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see. All right. This has been a great episode. I'm so happy with this. And we're hitting the timing just beautifully. We're gonna hit Lava Ridge Town in a sec. Man, we are just... Uh, I maybe shouldn't have stayed in, but I will. We should be fine. Spark should do a good bit, and yeah, there we go. A crit! Powerball, you genius. Uh, that's level 27 for Powerball, meaning in three levels we're gonna have another evolution. Uh, no, <laughs> we're absolutely not learning self-destruct. Actually though, okay, something to point out. Uh, Self-destruct obviously is a terrible move for Nuzlocks most of the time. There's like a 2% chance that it's actually really important to have a move like that when uh, you know that like, hey, I may not get, you know, I'm not gonna get out of this without losing a Mon. Having self-destruct is actually kind of sick, but I'm not gonna learn it here. All right, guys. Two evolutions in the bag, Maxi has been defeated, and we are very, very close to uh, some extra evolutions with, uh, in particular, Powerball. We are doing really, really well so far, guys. I really appreciate all the support on the series. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Make sure you answer that comment question of the day, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. See you later.